In this video, I will show you how to time quantize your MIDI tracks when you use software instruments with Logic Pro X. Hi, plugin generation. This is me, Russo from ClangLab.com. If you are not familiar with time quantization, you want to apply it when you want your performance to be uh, perfectly time aligned. To put it in other words, it is just a way to make sure that uh, your performance when you record a software instrument, in this case with uh, MIDI tracks, um, your performance goes along with the click. Let's get directly to the example using drums. So I open a software instrument track using this button, selecting software instrument and create, or simply option command S. I select my drum kit, so called in this case, and I want to lower the output level of this drum kit a little bit. Just my personal preference uh, in this case. I will open the keyboard with Command K, and this is my drum kit. Let's uh, record something. Okay, double click on the region and this is my performance. Okay, not an accurate performance. So I will select everything inside this window with command A and one eight note. This is the uh, the adjustments that Logic has done. Okay, this was the first scenario with a hi-hat which was hitting every eighth of the measure. Um, let's try with triplets on the hi-hat. So let's record something. Okay, sorry for the performance, that's why I need sometimes the time alignment. Okay, so if I put 1-8 quantization to this performance, this is what happens. While I have played something like this. Okay, so I just reselect everything and here I choose 1 8 triplet. So, with these two examples, you have seen how you can uh, just play something, record something, and then correct the timing uh, on those instruments but you can also play something that will be automatically uh, time aligned. Now I will duplicate this track. You will just use this menu here, the inspector menu. Uh, you can call it using the I key. And before you record something, you can select here what you need. There's a bunch of options. And in the case you will switch from 1.8 to 1.8 triplet, for example, you will find it here. Here. So, for example, I can do something like... Let's 
let's listen to it. Of course, you can always uh, manually correct some, something which is not meant to be in this way. So here the kick. And these can be uh, a little bit simple, a little bit more complicated, depending on what you need uh, in a performance. I personally tend to uh, just record without uh, quantization here, uh, and then I will um, section by section uh, manually uh, correct uh, the performance. But in some cases, when you, when you want to play something without thinking too much, you just use this trick here, only one eight or uh, a combined uh, pattern, and Logic will do the rest. So that's all for today's video. I hope this one was useful for those of you who want to learn how to use Logic. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you, if you want to stay updated with more content and leave a comment down below and press the like button. See you next time.